Hey guys and gals, Perry here, and I am no one you know for StoryToPixel.com. And today, on this tutorial, will be a continuation of our camera mapping. Uh, so this is the interior of the bungalow. Uh, I've gone and I tweaked everything, so we should be in good shape. Uh, so it looks like this. The key thing that I was trying to do is everything as even as possible. Uh, because that way, when we bring the textures in, we don't have to do any specific tweaking. Uh, on this one, uh, it's straight here. Um, this is probably an anomaly on the floor itself. And there was also a nice little line where I can judge uh, my straightness. Uh, let's go to this angle. So, because uh, the thing is, is with the ceiling and the floor, making sure it's as even as possible and let's see that's what it looked like down there and then up here it looks like that um, it makes it easier to texture the uh, ceiling and the floor and also the walls uh, if uh, the texture is wonky then you have to do a lot of extra work uh, let's see what this looks like so the reason I had to do so much work is, as I said, there was uh, operator error. That was my fault. Uh, one of the protective uh, clear lens caps uh, that you can shoot through uh, was not screwed on tightly on one of the cameras. So it occluded slightly into shot. So I made two different shots instead of uh, two similar shots, uh, one in uh, either direction. And you want them to be as even as possible. So... Now, next step, I need to take these spherical textures and turn them into flat textures. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here to plugins and there's the new Cineversity VR cam plugin. Use the merge camera rig and uh, look through it. I'm going to hit forward and you notice it uh, went up a little bit because it's not at the same level as my camera uh, that's uh, in my uh, template. Now the thing is, is uh, normally in the template, uh, let's see here, normally it looks like this. So you have to go into layers and turn on, I always turn on these three just to make sure that this is the camera right here that you're normally looking through and is controlled by the user data here. So uh, that's the normal way you control what you're looking at in the user data. So uh, now we've got a new camera set up. This is the one we're gonna use. Now you'll notice that there's Boeing here. That's because it's you're looking at a sphere and you need to be at the proper height. Now the problem is, is you know, I shot this at a specific height, but that does not translate over to a sphere because don't forget the floor is not even, the floor is the bottom of the sphere. So what you have to do is, uh, to get it close right now, I'm gonna take this camera right here and I got it at negative 100 centimeters. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the VR cam and let's see how that looks. Now you noticed it evened out a lot and uh, if you play with it, you can see it turn into a smile or you can see it turn into a frown. So the thing is, is that these type of distortions you don't want. You want them to be as even as possible. Okay, uh, let's see if we can make it even more even a little bit. I don't think we can. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. I think this is going to be pretty decent. Now, you'll notice up here at the very top, it looks more like a smile. And if I adjust it for that, how's it going to affect the rest? That's pretty even there, but what does it look like here? You know, it looks like it's got a little lump to it. But on another note, this shot right here will be probably, hold on one second, there you go, let it refresh. 
Yeah, see, it's got a little bow in it. So I'm going to put it back to negative 100. Oh, and that was the sphere object. Got to make sure you have things highlighted. So negative 100. There you go. Now, the sphere where the textures are applied, actually in this case I kept everything uh, uh, straight, so it's at zero, 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 zero. Uh, so now the v uh, VR cam. Now what is the VR cam? It's actually uh, six cameras, and they all have they share the same nodal point, and uh, they just turn into different directions, and this is going to create a cube map. Now, the one thing is, you need to watch out for You'll notice that each of the cameras, when you turn them up to objects, they're 90 by 90 degrees. You need to go over here to your render settings. And you need to, let's see here, you need to change. Make sure that the film aspect ratio is a square, one by one. Uh, if it's not, and it normally isn't, it's like 2 to 1 or 19, 20 by 1080, something like that. Um, make sure that the render settings match this. Otherwise, you're gonna uh, when you render these out, it's gonna look a little bit odd. So in this case, I'm doing 960 by 960. I'm gonna quit that. And so what we're gonna do is you're gonna look forward to the left, reverse. Actually, in this case, I want this to be forward, so I'm just going to highlight CVR cam, go over to coordinates, and uh, say 180. So now, that will be forward. This will be left, reverse, right, then there's up, and then there's down. Okay, uh, so let's look forward, and uh, everything seems and what I'm doing here is I'm using interactive render region and I'm just grabbing the handles at the bottom just to check the evenness. So there was a lot of tweaking. I feel pretty good about what I've got here. And we'll know more when we actually texture everything. And I just want to make sure that I uh, reverse. And right. All right, so uh, I'm going to turn it to Ford. I am going to go, and this is the simple part to tell you the truth. Uh, I'm going to go here, make sure my output is what I want it to be, one to one, and we're doing current frame. Uh, I'm going to save this, and uh, let's see here if I make sure it goes to the right place. Okay, there we go. Oh, no, no, no. There we go, and new folder, texture. And I'm gonna create another folder because I'm gonna have a bunch of different rooms. We're only gonna do the living room so you can see what's going on. Um, but later on I may do a tutorial where I'll just show you what it looks like where you can walk through the whole house. Okay, uh, so I'm going to save it in there as Ford LR FWD. Okay, and uh, that should be everything. I'm not going to say I'm not going to worry about all these other options right now. I'm just going to show you guys how to basically do it. So. Uh, 
that should be good and uh, let's see here yeah so let's render the Ford and it's pretty quick left rename Now, if I go into my folder structure, I should have texture output. There we go. So uh, we will go from there. Next step. Okay. Uh, next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take the F. The I basically went back and did everything as pings. Uh, next thing we're going to do is take the ups and the downs. Open those in Photoshop. And on this one right here, I am actually just going to go in there. And I am just going to... Take this, and then I should take this, <clears throat> and if I'm not mistaken, fill, content aware fill, and let's see if that works, yep. And that is what I wanted, and that actually, uh, I can see a little bit there, so there we go. Let's see if we can work this out here. I'm not going to get in there and do a great job right now. I just want to show you. So now we've gotten rid of that. And to tell you the truth, what I may just end up doing is just using the patch tool. And just take this yeah that looks much better okay so that is done and um, there we go so now we have a new up and then I'm going to get rid of this and let's see what we can do here. Actually, let's just try. Now, I'm kind of curious to see with the boards how this looks. Actually, I think I did a pretty decent job, so. All right, so now we have a new up and we have a new down. All right, uh, what now? Okay, one last time I just want to point this out. Uh, if you look specifically at up, uh, you see this dark shadow that's going across here. And uh, you can actually see it probably on Ford in reverse. 
that dark shadow right there. Uh, this is where the bottom of the two lenses meet. So you have the bottom of the Ford and the bottom of the rear. And uh, that's the part where with that clear uh, protective uh, lens cap on there, uh, if you take that off, that will give you a little bit more field of view, which will probably take care of this right here. So I'm not going to do anything with this. Uh, further testing would be required. All right, uh, moving on to the next tutorial. And I am Perry, knowing you know for storytopixel.com.